so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can model the google home with the help of the blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and before starting the tutorial guys i just want to tell you if you want to do practice on this project file so you can download this project file from the description that will be free for my all subscriber and we'll also talk about the how we can unwrap this and how we can do texturing like this here you can see this is the uvs of this uh, google home so how we can do this also and you will also get the the structure file with the uh, this project file so make sure to download this project file okay and if you found this project file and this tutorial helpful for you so make sure you hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also so now let's start a tutorial so first of all i'm just gonna delete everything pressing the a and just delete it so first of all i'm just going to add one cylinder here pressing the shift a yeah something like that so then i will just keep this uh, cylinder to above this red line something like that and now i'm just going to the edit mode of this cylinder pressing the tab then i will select the all uh, bottom vertices so before selecting the all bottom uh, vertices we have to enable this x-ray view so that will give to freedom to select the behind faces uh, behind the vertices of this cylinder also so now i'm just going to scale those vertices something like that and i'm just going to stretch it a little bit something like that as well okay then after that i'm just going to delete this bottom face right now because we don't need it right now yeah and then we'll just uh, scale it little bit upset as well yeah then we'll select the bottom uh, vertices and going to switch my edge mode pressing the 2 and then i will just uh, do extrude it something like that then i will press the z for the z direction then i will just do scale it something like that and after that we can just do a little bit upside then I will just do extrude one more time and then I will do a scale it something like that and I think that's fine to me okay so after that I will just do extrude once more pressing the Z for the Z direction and right now I'm just going to scale it little bit something like that and we can stretch it also then we'll do one more time extrude something like that then I will do extrude it and right now I'm just going to uh, scale inside and we can do something like that as well then we'll do one more time extrude and right now I'm just going to extrude it then I will just pull those edges little bit upside something like that okay yeah and then I will do again extrude pressing the E then I will do Z for the direction and then I'm just going to drag it little bit downside okay then i will do again extrude then i will do press the z for the direction and after that i'm just going to scale it something like that and we can do this little bit of side yeah i think that's fine then we'll do extrude it scale it extrude it scale it and after that fill for this hole i will press the f for the fill hole so right now here you can see our basic shape is ready okay we can just do a little bit pull downside this one also and this one as well so our basic google home shape is ready okay so after that uh, i'm just going to a little bit downside those vertices yeah that's fine then we'll just uh, rotate uh, these vertices to 15 degree so for that I'm just going to minus 15 degree yeah that's fine and we'll just switch the edge mode and then I will do just control B and for bevel then I will select this middle phase and then I will do extrude it something like that so here you can see our basic home Google home shape is ready okay and if you want to see how it's look like basically so you can add the subdivision modifier on it pressing the control 2 uh, when you edit it will look like this so first of all we need some uh, extra as loops for make this shape sharp so for that I will just go to the edit mode and this I'm just going to do select my loop cut and adding some uh, as loop here something like that and something like that as well okay so here you can see our uh, shape is almost ready we can increase the viewport shading and we can uh, do shade smooth as well 
so here you can see our google home shape almost is ready then we'll do some uh, add some extra detailing means we'll add one power button here okay so for that what we can do first of all i'm just going to uh, unhide this subdivision for a while then i will just go to the edit mode of this cylinder and i will add one edge loop here and after that i'm just going to bevel this edge pressing the control b something like that yeah i think that's fine then we'll select the uh, those middle faces okay and i'm just going to do insert pressing the i and then we'll do right click and here we'll see the loop cut we'll just do circle and if you not find this loop cut option pressing the right click so you can just go to the edit preference and from here you can search the uh, loop cut so you will see this add-on you have to enable from here then you can you will see this option also okay then after that what do you have to do you have to just uh, press the i once something like that then you have to uh, do extrude inside then you have to just to press the i for insert again then you have to just extrude it outside something like that and you have to do press e and scale one more time something like that then you have to just uh, then you have to just press the one for the uh, vertex mode and you have to just select the middle face of this vertex okay and you have to just pull this vertex inside something like that so when you uh, enable your subdivision modifier so it will look like this and it's look fine to me okay we can just enable the shade smooth and we can enable this uh, viewport shading as well so our basic home uh, google home shape is ready okay so now we'll uh, do unwrap this model so for doing unwrap what we can do so first of all we have to just uh, go to the edit mode of this google home and then we have to just select this middle edge so for selecting the middle edge i will just select once then i will just do select and here you will see the loop select the as loop something like that and then i will select this middle edge then we will do same thing select and we will do the edge loop but right now we have to just deselect this part first of all and this edge as well and we have to deselect the this part as well and we have to select this one so we have to do again select and as loop and we have to deselect this part first of all because we don't need it yeah okay after selecting the those edges we have to just do the right click okay and make sure you deselect those as basically okay so after selecting the all edges we have to do right click and here we will see the mark seam so when we will do the mark seam so after that you have to just press the a for the select all uh, faces then you have to just press the 3 then you have to just press the u for the unwrap so when you do unwrap and you will go to the uv editing section so from here you will see one unwrap here okay this is the perfect unwrap basically and now we have to add the texture on it so for that what we can do we have to just go to the shading panel from here we have to press the new then we have to just press the control shift uh, t and we have to just select the all texture something like that and then we have to import it so when we'll do this so it will automatically create uh, nodes for us okay so first of all we don't need it this texture mapping node and after that here you can see right now that that is not perfectly aligned with the uvs so first of all we have to align with this uh, texture with this uh, texture with the model so for that we have to select this one and press the l and then we have to just rotate it something like that yeah and we have to just move this texture to here okay so right now it's not uh, going to with the texture so we have to just do some little uh, manual corrections okay and uh, after that you will get the all texture so for that what you have to do you have to just uh, select the this part and you have to enable this proportion editing and just move it okay so first of all you have to just uh, 
decrease the size of this brush basically I think that's fine then you have to just move it according to your uh, texture okay so I think that's fine to me so I'm just going to do very quickly okay so here you can see guys I wrapped this uh, model with this texture perfectly and now it's look like looking very cool okay and after that I just create one floor here okay and I have just added one texture also so don't worry about this texture you will also get this texture with this project file okay and here you can see our google home is perfectly uh, ready here you can see okay and now when i just uh, do the rendering here you can see so it will look like this so here you can see guys this is the render view and uh, this is the final model which is we have created and i have just wrapped the all texture I have just wrapped the all my model with this texture and it's looking fine okay so that's how you can create this google home with the help of the blender and also don't forget to download this project file from the description that will be free for my all subscriber and if you found this project file and this tutorial helpful for you so make sure you hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also so thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys